Pink Tada Margarita Fira, the black lip pearl oyster. Mm -hmm. And uh, this shell has some very special feature. First, the first one is the very big appendix you can see here. Mm -hmm. And this appendix with a very special, which is a very special organ, has uh, even scientists never give name to this uh, appendix. But we pearl farmer, we, we, we name it the pearl pocket. It's very well developed. We don't know the function of this appendix uh, in, in for the shell. The only thing we know is that sometimes it contains eggs or sperm. But we can find eggs or sperm in many other parts of the animal. There, here, everywhere. But many people said it's the gonad of the animal, the appendix, but we say it's only part of the gonad. Anyway. This appendix will be important because it will be the part where we will seed the animal and put the, the bead inside. Okay, the second important thing in this animal is the mantle. This is the mantle. Okay, and you can see the very black edge which gave the name of the shell, Pinctada Margaritifa, the black lip or oyster, mm -hmm. black lip. And this mantle is important because we will put a piece of this mantle inside the pearl pocket with the bead. So we will not take all kind of shells as donors for the mantle. We will take, for example, a shell with this kind of color. You can see the difference. This one is very gray. The, mo the mother of pearl part is very grey, this one is very uh, shining with a very beautiful irisation. Iridescence. Iridescence. Mm -hmm. Iridescence, ça veut dire irisation? The number of times I've to say, put the bead inside the pearl pocket and the piece of mantle completely close to the bead. If it's not close to the bead inside the pearl pocket, most of the time the bead will be rejected. Because <clears throat> to go inside the pearl pocket, we make a way from here, near the byssus, here, with a scalpel, and we cut inside the tissue for about two centimeters to go inside at the middle part of the pearl pocket. But if the bead is not, uh, uh, keeping by the mantle, because the mantle in uh, a few days just, how uh, uh, reconstitute? reconstitutes, reconstitutes a pearl sac, beginning of a pearl sac, and and uh, keep the bead inside the pearl pocket. But mm -hmm. if the the bead is the 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 mantle piece is too far from the bead, the bead can slowly go out of the pocket. Mm -hmm. we, we have a success rate, uh, average year, of about 70%. But in the 30% remaining, we don't have only rejects, we have also mortality. This muscle is very important, it's the adductor muscle. So if we open the shell a little bit too much, it's very easy to damage it. And all the mortality after seeding is due to this muscle damage. And it's about, depends on the healthiness of the shell, but it's between 5 to 15%. the pearl we never kill the animals like they do in Japan for their sh for their pearls. We give again to the technicians and he will carefully remove the pearl, cutting just behind the pearls in the pearl pocket, pushing the pearl outside and 
the technicians look a few seconds at the pearl. If the pearl is quite roundish, colorful, uh, with good luster and flawless, he can put a new bead inside the pearl pocket. This time we don't have to put the mantle piece again. There is already what is producing the pearl sac. So we put only a bead, but the bead will be the same size the pearl we have harvested. The only thing we have done on these pearls is that just after the harvest, we have to remove the organic part which, mm -hmm. which, which have dried around the pearl. So we use a tumbler with some walnut just to clean and polish it a little bit and to give again his luster. But so we use this kind of walnut to clean our pearls in the tumbler. Mm -hmm. So we don't use any other treatment to polish or to do anything on the pearl to color it or anything else. We have uh, many tourists, so uh, this farm not only produces pearl, but every day we show to the people who want to see how we make the pearls, everything from the grafting to the harvest and how also we have to grade the pearls and give value of a pearl. Uh, this is done in some other part in French Polynesia, but I think that we are the only farms uh, doing it completely from the beginning to the end and all through the year. Because we are also a producer of farms, a true farms, not a demo farms, so we can show it all through the year the grafters, the, the harvester, everything. Our shell, we can mm -hmm. produce three pearls mm -hmm. for the lifespan of the shell. In the, in the freshwater mussel, they can produce hundreds of pearls mm -hmm. during the lifespan of the, of, the, of the shell. And what they do, they implant inside the mantle of the mussel, not inside the gonad. So they can, with one graft, they do 20 implants mm -hmm. in the same shell. They wait the same time, but when they harvest, they just take out the pearls, leave again on the, on, the, on, the, on the water, and after two years again, they have 20 pearls like that. So it's easier, they have more space, and so they can really do more. farms are, are uh, in different islands and atolls in French Polynesia. I can see there's a lot of atolls, uh, 118 atolls in French Polynesia, only 30, 30 atolls uh, uh, where you can find uh, pearl farms. Uh, in fact, we noticed that there's not big impact of, uh, of pearl oysters and pearl, and pearl oyster culture in the environment of uh, on, of each atolls, uh, most of the time, the, the biggest impact is the the, the population impacts. You know, when uh, pearl farms uh, uh, comes in the atoll, that brings uh, with them uh, people. At the beginning, the lagoon was just at the bottom, corals or sand. And after 20 years now, they have many sea cucumbers. So it seems that the faces of the animals have just uh, uh, changed a little bit the, the, the ecology of the bottom of the lagoon. Right now, the, the price of pearls is very low because uh, there are many small farms and small farmers tend to sell to wholesalers. And uh, of course, uh, they tend to, to, to sell at very low prices because there is competition between the small farms. So, 
of course, uh, the pension industry is looking at what is uh, happening in Australia, where the industry is much more uh, regulated, and the, the government has a strict uh, production quota for the whole industry each year, and uh, in this way, they they have uh, they produce much less pearls, but they can they can sell them. Uh, uh, at a much higher price okay. and uh, also they, they have an incentive to develop a better quality because they are limited uh, by their quota uh, as for quantity so they have a, an interest to make the pearls uh, of higher qualities this is not the case here there is a, a trade-off between quantity and quality and, and uh, many small farmers uh, would rather go for quantity uh, rather than quality. So the, the average quality ten, tends to uh, tends to become lower and lower, and that's one of the reasons also why the price uh, the prices that we get uh, are going down. You see, it's really small. Mm -hmm. The thickness. Okay. And this, this is the good one. Oh. It has to be 0 0.8 millimeters minimum. Okay, so the how much nacre is there on this one now? So it's a little bit. Celle-là, doit y avoir quoi 0.5. Last year, using this three machine, we control more than 10 million curves. 17 million dollars of curves. Mm -hmm. Well, exporting them uh, last year.